Hello there, I'm Sean Grizzly. Welcome to the uh, while expressions tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, the while expression, uh, how it aids us with our development in F sharp, and uh, how the syntax uh, differentiates from uh, other programming languages. So uh, what a while expression does, it allows us to loop through a collection of uh, elements and when combined with a conditional expression which we covered in the last two tutorials we can perform uh, an element of checking along the way if necessary so um, in this tutorial we're going to build a new menu system for the F sharp phone we looked at in the conditional expressions tutorial and uh, we're going to use something new in this tutorial which will be covered in a tutorial uh, later on on lists uh, but for the purpose of our while tutorial I'll briefly exp explain what a list is along the way so uh, let's define some uh, lists uh, for a start define lists of callers and numbers so we're going to define a new list called numbers here and the list is going to be from 1 to 5. Uh, all this does, um, we've defined a value before, uh, we've set it to say hello world or something like this. What a list is, um, it's a sequential order of numbers in this case from 1 to 5. We could even write it like this if we wanted to um, and that will simply create 5 numbers and set them in this numbers value and this numbers value will then be a list if we highlight over it it's uh, an int list type because it's a lint of in integers really and this is exactly the same so once we've got that we're going to define a list of callers which is uh, pretty much very similar so we're going to have Bob we're going to have Julie Let's uh, write these out. We're going to have Laura, we'll have Henry, and we're going to have Sean. So we've got five numbers and five callers associated with these numbers. So that's all those two lines do. Now, what we want to do now is create a new while expression. This is going to loop through these two lists and output them in the uh, menu interface. So if we run the program at the moment, let's wait for the result, we've got welcome to the F-sharp phone. And if you remember from the conditional expressions tutorial, we had a list of callers. And that's what we wish to create in this tutorial using a while expression. So um, what we're going to do first, for example, uh, we're going to create a new while expression. Um, now, while is denoted by the keyword while, and uh, it's also terminated by the keyword done. So anything in between will be the logic within our while statement. Okay, so I'm going to define a mutable value here to start with. I'll explain why uh, in detail once I've uh, constructed the uh, while loop. Callers dot length do. Okay, and we need some logic in here just to keep it happy. Okay. Okay, there we go. So this is a very simple while expression. I've defined a value here which is mutable and initialized it to zero. I've constructed a new while expression uh, which is ended by the keyword done which simply says while value so value is zero is less than callers dot length. Now callers is, remember, a list of people's names, so it's got five elements in there. So the length will return five. So if we look at the methods and properties available for our callers list, 
we have head which gets us the uh, head of the list it get it's an this is an item which can return as the current item and the length is the one we're looking for here and this will return uh, an integer here which represents the number of items so it's going to be 5 in this case so while 0 is less than 5 do and what it's doing is anything between do and done so this is what will be looped every time the while uh, occurs so what a while is it kind of loops until this uh, this um, expression here is equal to false so when value is more than five in this case the while loop will terminate so when value is six we're going to escape and finish the program all this is doing at the moment is saying value set it to the value which is itself plus one so value is zero every time it loops it's going to uh, exit the loop so it's going to go around five times really because once value hits six using this statement we're going to escape so that these are pretty much the basics of a while loop your variable which allows you uh, to escape out the loop when it makes the expression here false something to uh, compare the uh, value to in this case it's less than the length of the callers list which is five and the keywords is necessary so all we need now is some sort of logic in here so let's define a new value here called caller and the caller will be the current caller as it loops through the list so every time it loops through the value is going to be zero so we'd like to take Bob then the next time it loops through remember the value is going to be itself plus one so it'll be one the next time round so it's going to take Julie in this case then two it will take Laura until it reaches six well there's not a sixth item which is lucky because uh, when we escape the loop it will never reach six so it will be done so we won't throw an error when we try to access something outside of the scope of our uh, loop here so in order to take each item we say list which is callers here and we use the dot item property here and uh, the item we wish to access in this case is value oops okay so um, we're taking um, the nth well, it could be n it could be any number but we know value is never going to be more than five so it will never be six and we know it's never going to be less than zero because we're adding one and escaping at the relevant moment so when the first time it goes around it's going to be zero so we'll take Bob etc so every time this loops the ver the value caller will equal a different name each time it loops that's, so that's all that does and we're going to do exactly the same for the number list as well which is going to have the same properties uh, and everything so we've now got a caller and a number on each iteration so at the moment it actually does the logic but the user is unaware of what's going on because we're not actually outputting anything to the user so we're going to use uh, our printfn from our printfn tutorial. So what we want to say in printfn, now remember we've got this nice little user interface and it might look kind of funny if we output it straight away. So we need to might need one of these asterisks and a space just to keep it nice and padded out and in line with the uh, GUI. So we're going to say press uh, remember from our printfn tutorial, integers are represented by i or d, whichever, and strings are represented by s's. So we've got press i for s. Remember i is an integer, so that can take in our number value here, which is any one of these numbers through each iteration, and the s will take the caller. So if we run the program now, 
We've got welcome to the F sharp phone, press 1 for Bob, 2 for Julie, 3 for Laura, 4 for Henry, 5 for Sean. So if we press 4, nothing's going to happen because we haven't got our uh, conditional expression uh, if statement set up at the bottom to say what would happen. This is basically just to generate the uh, menu for the F sharp phone. So this is how while expressions can be useful uh, during F sharp development. Uh, they allow iteration and uh, control through the code. Uh, just ensure you've got your keywords in place to set up the while loop, a suitable condition, uh, set up your value and ensure you're iterating it. If we don't have this here, if we comment this out, we're going to get an infinite loop because this condition will never escape. So do bear in mind that this could happen. Um, but with F sharp it's quite nicely managed. Uh, in the olden days uh, when we were using earlier languages, if you got caught in an infinite loop, uh, you may find your computer crashed or you'd struggle to salvage your work. So uh, do bear in mind that. So. Um, I'm Sean Grizzly. Thank you for listening to the uh, tutorial on while expressions. Thanks.